When the House of Commons resumes later this month, interim Liberal House leader Stephen McKinnon will be filling in. For more on this, we are joined by CTV's Colton Prale. So, Colton, who is Steve McKinnon, I guess, first off, and why is this change actually even taking place? Well, for politicos, they'll be familiar with the name. He's a Gatineau area MP. He was previously the Liberal government's whip. It's an important role. One, he would have worked closely with Karina Gould, who was the former government House leader. Why is McKinnon taking over for? Well, Karina Gould is going on mat leave. She'll be back on July 31st. At that point in time, it's expected she'll resume her position. It's the second time that she's gone on mat leave as a minister. She was the first one to do so. Last time around, she only took nine weeks off before returning to Parliament. At the time, she said that was way too tight a timeline. It had a negative impact on herself, on her family, on her ability to do her job. This time around, she's going to take a much longer period of time, and so we've got Steve McKinnon stepping up to fill her role. It's something he will be fami familiar with as government whip. He had a very important procedural job, making sure that all the liberal MPs were where they needed to be, when they needed to be there, that they were voting in accordance with liberal policies and, and the liberal agenda, making sure that those motions happened in the way that the government wanted them to do so. Now he's going to have an even more more hands-on role, setting the day-to-day -day legislative agenda for the party. But he's also going to be a prominent speaker in the House of Commons. You know, really, we only see the Prime Minister in the House of Commons once a week on Wednesdays. After that, it's mostly the government House leader who is fielding those questions along with various ministers. Now this is going to fall to Steve McKinnon, and he's going to have very big shoes to fill because it's a role that Karina Gould did very, very well and allowed uh, for some sort of rebound for the Liberals in the House of Commons. McKinnon hasn't had to have such a prominent role in the past. He's now going to step into that. It'll be interesting to see how effective he can be in that role. Right. And on that note, Colton, I'm kind of asking you to kind of look into a crystal ball here. But what impact do you think this is going to have on the Liberals' presence in Parliament? Well, in Karina Gold, they had one of their most effective attack dogs. She was calculated, she was calm, and she was cutting. She managed to attack the opposition in a way that was so straightforward and matter-of-fact that it was very difficult for members of the opposition to attack her back. And we saw that frequently throughout Parliament. Her uh, demeanor was one that was really highlighted in their social media messaging, the Liberal social media messaging, and she didn't face the same criticism from the opposition leader that other high-profile members of the Liberal Party did. Think of Sean Fraser, Christian Freeland, the Prime Minister himself. They all faced very public attacks, not so much for Karina Gould. And the Liberal insiders credit her for slight bumps in popularity for the party. Yes, they've been struggling in the polling really since the summer, but any gains that they did make, they say she was a big part of that. Now with her gone, you've got a really big hole in the party and a really big hole in the House of Commons where these debates take place. If Steve McKinnon can live up to that, then maybe 2024 can be a, liberal, uh, a year where the Liberals think about potentially rebounding politically. But if he's not up to that task, all of a sudden you've lost a really prominent minister in Karina Gold, and you're not filling that gap with the same sort of substantive arguments and substantive debates that she brought to the House floor. And that's going to be his biggest challenge. It's not just about pushing legislation through. It's about being that voice in the House of Commons that she managed to be so, so well. Okay, we'll have to wait and see what happens here. CTV's Colton Prell joining us live. Thanks for this, Colton.